markets and recently putting misinformation online to rest, the finance ministry had clarified that they are going to not go away, not do away at all with the old tax regime. But if you're still confused about it, don't worry. On TBC, we've got a full explainer for you. What exactly do you need to look at between the old tax regime and the new tax regime? There is a default one, but that does not mean that the old one does not exist. Here's Stacey with more. As we step into FY25, many of you may be wondering, are there any financial changes that come into effect from the 1st of April 2024, especially with regards to the taxation as well as the new tax regime? Many people took to social media trying to figure out what really changes. Does the new tax regime become that default regime with no other option? Well, the finance ministry has taken note that there was misleading information that was being shared on social media platforms and decided to set the record straight. Nordblock has clarified that there are no changes that will come into effect in the new financial year. In a post on X, which is formerly Twitter, the ministry clarified that the new tax regime, which was introduced in the Finance Act of 2023, will become the default regime. However, it will continue to exist along with the old tax regime and taxpayers can choose whichever regime is beneficial to them. So let's get the details of what these tax slabs entail. Under the new tax regime, tax is exempt for any income up to 3 lakh rupees. From 3 to 6 lakh rupees, it is a 5% tax slab, that being the lowest slab. Whereas for income above 15 lakh rupees, it is 30%, which is the highest slab. But under the old regime, it is 30% for any income above 10 lakh rupees. Now, the note also categorically states that while the tax rates are significantly lower under the new tax regime, other than the standard deduction of 50,000 rupees on your salary, as well as the 15,000 rupees from your family pension, no other deduction will be applicable under the new tax regime. So what if you want to opt out from the new tax regime? Well, that provision too will be available till the filing of your returns for the assessment year of FY24-25. Eligible persons without any business income will have the option to choose the regime for each financial year. So you can go on to choose from the new tax regime in one financial year and the old tax regime in another financial year or even vice versa. All right, and talking about that, let's also take a quick look at the markets and how they're shaping up this morning. Now, this is a special section of, of uh, financial markets powered by Money Control Pro, Money Control's premium destination for investing and business insights. Now, markets this morning, uh, trends in gift nifty, indicate a weak opening for the Indian stock markets and US stocks fall on fears of Federal Reserve may delay interest rate cuts. Asian markets also trade lower uh, in Wednesday morning trade and crude oil prices hold firm as traders weigh demand supply conditions. As for the sectors, now telecom is rapidly growing but uh, competitive in the market. India is fast approaching a peak in tele density and the future growth is largely contingent on increasing usage. Can the sector still offer increasing investment opportunities? For more on these, you can always log on to Money Control Pro and find out more about India's telecom sector and other actionable insights. It's a premier destination for all your investing views and financial insights you will ever need brought to you by Money Control. Well, that's all we could wrap.